I am so late. It is like 537. I should have been getting out of the truck and heading in right now. Uh, I guess the last time I, uh, or yesterday morning I hunted Tennessee, but uh, Thursday morning when I hunted out here, it was really cloudy. And uh, I guess I had thought I had a little bit more time to get to the stand, but it's opening day of rifle. And uh, I kind of got a mixed bag this morning, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little while. But uh, anyways, I don't intend on leaving unsuccessful this morning. I had an encounter with that big buck again yesterday, and uh, <laughs> I actually come to find out he was on my trail camera at 9 o'clock yesterday morning in my food plot, and I was in Tennessee like an idiot. Anyways, and then I saw him yesterday afternoon kind of cruising about 100 yards away. Uh, he's not going to have that luxury today. So, anyways, wish me luck. You can see what I got behind me. Oh, Betsy. But, after everything chills out this morning, you can just see my tracks. The plan is if that big buck wants to pull the hole. I'm gonna skirt you by a hundred yards thing today. Not gonna work. But if he wants to be cooperative and just end this crap like he should have a month ago, all he's gotta do is walk in this food plot and stand broadside. And I'll kill him with my drags and a dirt net broadhead. But if not, old granddaddy's gun's gonna bark.
what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. I went to grab the bow. I thought, no. No, no, no. No, he's had plenty of chances. It's time to end this. Yes. I think that's at big 10 point or 9. Whatever he is, he got broken brown time. I've been chasing. I just filmed him following a doe up this way. He come around the back side. And I guess they come up through this other way. Because here he popped up on the other side. Man, I hope I got that on camera. I just had to zoom in on the opening. You know what? <laughs> you know, we could have made this a lot easier if you just, you know, done this about two or three weeks ago. Could have saved a lot of time, energy, a lot of sleep, but no. Had to finish it today, November 10th, opening morning of rifle. Whew. Heck yes. <laughs> oh, it looked like a good hit. It looked like a good hit, but I'm going to get down and see if I can find some blood here in a minute. So update guys. I got out of the tree stand. Kind of went over where I shot him. Couldn't find any blood. I got just depressed. I got back up in the stand and I looked really hard where I shot. And I got down again and went right to that spot and I still couldn't find anything. So I dropped my back. And uh, I started kind of following where I thought he went. And I was walking this hillside back behind me. I seen him stick his head up over here and he was struggling and I put another bullet in him and I've been watching him for about 20 minutes now and just to be safe I'm easing my way up to him through the backside. I don't know if something's up with my bullets or gun or what but you hit him with a 30 on 6 two times they should, they should be done I think it's my target buck too he looks big waited a long time to put my hands on this buck. And I did it. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh. I don't even... I don't even want to touch him. He's just... Oh, my God. What a beautiful Kentucky buck. I have worked so hard for this deer. Oh, and I got it done. And I don't know. Here's where I hit him on the backup shot. But I'll spend all day trying to find out where I hit him the first time. Or if I even did hit him. Because what happened was... God, he's, he's nice. What happened was he come to my stand and he chased a doe up this way towards kind of towards the back of this property and uh, then he went in some thick stuff and I knew it was now or never and I shot with the gun he wasn't but probably 50 60 yards and uh, I know I did not get the shot on camera but I don't know I feel bad about it but I'm just happy to get him, finally, get this deer in my hands. Man. Anyways, heck yes. Alright guys, well, shot this deer this morning out of a tree stand. I actually had to get down and uh, follow up and put another shot in him. I don't know if uh, the bullet deflected and hit a branch or if I just made a real poor shot. But had multiple trail camera pictures of this deer. He's about 90% daylight, 10% nighttime, multiple encounters. I bet you I've got six, 700 pictures of him on the Spy Point Link Evo. And uh, anyways, it's just nice to come out here and put so much management into this property. I probably spent $1,000 out here on seed, time, putting in food plots, hanging tree stands, checking trail cameras, and uh, finally it all come together. So just really thankful. Won't you take a little ride?